families have been displaced by floods due to heavy rainfall that has been witnessed during the last two weeks. The Kenya Red Cross organization coordinator Gregory Masharia has said that more areas could be in danger of experiencing floods. In addition, he asked the citizens to be wary of the lacking danger of outbreak of waterborne diseases and ensure that they drink treated water. The raging floods in the country have caused havoc. Isiolo County being in the receiving end of the wrath of nature after 3,000 families were displaced from their homes due to the heavy downpour that continues to be witnessed. Isiolo County Secretary Dead Boru said that some areas such as Basa and Iresa Boru have been completely cut off and relief food supplies cannot reach the affected residents via road, a situation that requires the stakeholders to source for an aircraft that will lift emergency food and food supplies to the area. So our main agenda today is to save life of our people, wildlife and our animals. We have br brought all of them together. We have bring our heads together to make sure that everybody should put on the table what he has. Uh, as a county, uh, all our woods have been affected. So Resources are not enough, but the meager resources that we have, we need to share. Moreover, the county NDMA coordinator Omar Abdi called on people who are still living in, in low-lying areas and near the waterways to move to upper areas, warning that the flooding condition could be worse in the coming days according to the forecast from the meteorological department. Members of the public who are on harm's way along the flooded areas to move to a higher ground and uh, to be very much far away. And also we are appealing to the public during this uh, particular important rainy season is high time to improve their food security uh, situation at the household level to plant vegetables and food items to reduce the, the cost of actually uh, food prices by ma making sure that they have adequate vegetables and nutrition at the household level by practicing uh, agricultural activities along their uh, uh, land so that they, they are able to, to, to to protect themselves uh, during this uh, time when this, the passage is not doing very well. Elsewhere, the ongoing rains in the northeastern part of the country has claimed the lives of 14 people as the government wants the residents of the area to avoid the areas that have been affected by the flood. The area commissioner John Otieno has said that Mandera has been the most affected by the flood with seven deaths reported. The ongoing rains have uh, really caused a lot of damage in terms of um, property and loss of life. In the entire region, 14 people have lost their lives, and this is particularly caused uh, through uh, a, a drowning. So I'm, I'm, I'm cautioning the members of the public to avoid waterlogged areas.